Right then folks, uh, I'm going to try and show you some of my turning tools, trimming tools now and how they work and then just how I simply decorate this. I don't know whether it will work due to the camera angle because the ideal place would have been there for the camera but it's not enough room so anyway we'll see how we get on. So this is just a pot I made yesterday that's dried out a bit. So the first tool I use is this which is my turning tool or trimming tool as you may call it. It's just a piece of bent metal sharpened to a point and what we do with this, we, just, we use this to get rid of the throwing lines. We just lay it on and it takes off. The majority of the throwing lines It takes it off. Just homemade things, better than any of the things you can buy in the shops anyway, I think. And the second one is this. It's just like a like another turning tool but rounded off and sharpened off a bit. And you use this to put the grooves in there. So you just hold it on and it just takes a groove out. And I like to do that at the, around the neck of a pot because it gives it a bit of bit of detail. See that's made a groove. And then some of these other ones, like that's just a piece of metal plate, just bent. And you use that to get a bit of a bit of design at the bottom just to take just to make a bit of foot design. You see it's taking a ribbon of clay out. And going quite deep. It takes the clay out. Also, what you can do with this is you can use this to take some more clay off by just holding it like that, bringing it down and shaping the pot to a nicer shape at the bottom where it's a bit thicker. This tool again, just to tidy the lines out. And then another one, just a smaller one, just to finish the bottom off. Just to tidy the bottom. Just cut on the lines out. And then the best bit, obviously your fingers, to just finally smooth all the, the majority of the marks. You don't want to get it absolutely smooth as a anything because then it doesn't look like you've made it on a wheel you know it might as well made it in a mould if it's absolutely flat as a pancake but so anyway that's the basic bit of my trimming tool I'll just design I'll just put a bit of a design on there with me cobalt slip which is the blue stuff I'll just do a bit of a random brush pattern That's that, and I'm going to use it another colour. Just come out a different one. So that's a random, that's pretty random, as you can see. And this band I put my band of colour in there as well. So I just put a band there. It's all random, you know, it doesn't matter what you do. So I'll just do another simple sort of design at the bottom. Use my finger quickly before it dries. Just to cut back through to the clay, through the slit. And we'll see what effect that has. So that's it, a sort of random brush design and a bit of a... And then the final tool is this, which is our name stamp. It's what they used to use in printing actually. It's all backwards until you print it. And just print that, push that into the base, the rim. And it says Ingleton Potter it. And then the 
last thing obviously using a wire made out of fishing wire fishing line to just take the pot off and that's it job's done